Just got done with the workout. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, TWS underscore 77 TV. Back at it again. And today, we got a rookie fishing trip. We're going to show you how we do things down here in Duval, traveling to St. Augustine. And yeah, we're going to get this day started. <laughs> We're gonna go fishing today. Uh, we're gonna have a boatload of fun. We're gonna catch a lot of cobia. It's gonna be great. Hey. Oh yeah. That's what you, any, uh, let me get a word. Let me get your favorite quote. Favorite quote? I am the master of my destiny. I am the captain of my soul. Invictus. What's your excuse for not going fishing, bro? Uh, I got a lift, man. You know what I'm saying? Get like, better. You gotta get. You gotta be great. The best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that. That sound like some bullshit. Y'all say it for the camera, though. Hey, hey look, man. Y'all say it for hey, the camera. Hey, cheeks come first. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Trevor here. Oh, my God, Trevor. Favorite quote. I, what's your favorite quote? Favorite quote. Ah, oh, you can't put me on the spot like that. That's favorite, a tough question. Favorite quote. Um. Let me get back to you on that. Let me, yeah, let me man, it's all it. good. I can't put you on the spot like that anyway. That's a hard one. What we got? What what what, what we got here? Uh, chicken lo mein. Chicken lo mein. What's that? What we got here? It's and, we, and we got the vegetables. Man, you see how? Hey, telling you ain't you ain't playing around. Right? Ray, Celeste, you hear? Got the chicken, the vegetables. What's that? A vegetable medley. Watching some tennis, man. Good. Tennis everywhere. Getting ready to start the fishing trip. You know, I'm excited. Ain't no telling what we might catch today. Man, you know, offshore, you know, that's the only way to do it. Offshore, the best way to do it. But yeah, we're getting started. I'm excited to get the day started, man. You know. <laughs> Should be here sooner than later. Oh, I'm like, man, we got three minutes left. I'm feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> I might not make it. Tell to give y'all a quick update. We gonna make it, bro. We going right over this bridge. Nah, yeah. they, they say the bridge gonna fall down. Oh, don't bridge. say that. <laughs> the bridge. You know that bridge fell down in DC? Nah, and the bridge broke the fence. Got that drink in. I don't like the silly, cause it keep me thinking. We finally made it in St. Augustine. It took forever, man, but we're here now. Finally made it. You see, we're here at the, I don't even know where we at. I'm gonna back up some more, tell me when to stop. But we somewhere here. All right, you gotta yeah, give us a rundown. You give us a rundown on I'm the pole. Be some, um, some slow pitch jigging today. You can tell the pole brand up, it took a little tag off. I got me a couple slow pitch jigs with strikes on. Slow pitch? Slow pitch, you know. That's one of them. Just an example. That one we call the, the like wing the, fall. You gotta look at. You gotta make it flare, flutter up, and then let the slack of the line just make the bait nice flutter down. It's supposed to be like an injured bait fish. A lot of fish love that. They go crazy on it. Yep. They love it. Yep. So I got three of them. That's they call that. They're the Diablo hook. Huh? This is more your vertical jig if you want to speed it up. 
You know, the hook pound on the side, you actually speed that up and I got Attached by a piece of... It's a wing fall right there. There's another wing fall. Another wing fall there. And I'm gonna tell you, the thing about the, uh, the slurpee jigging, it's not measured by ounces, it's measured by grams. A lot of people don't know that. So you want to get about a 150 to a 100, depending on the current, the wave, and uh, you want to go about 150, 120, somewhere in there. You want a piece of string as well. It's yeah. really sturdy. Yeah, real cool. But you can get you some tracer hooks too. So you see how this got another eye at the bottom? You can add a tracer hook that looks just like this to add another hook to give you a better chance of hooking your fish. Unfortunately, I don't got tracer hooks today. So we're just gonna go with the regular sun kick jig with hook at the bottom, no tracer hooks. New, see, new real too. Yeah, new real, man. New real. Yeah. Tell them they need a, what, what's the brand? They need a sponsor. So this, right here, this is the uh the Avid. I just got this yesterday. Pretty much, you know, just your average. I wanted to get the Shimano, but the Shimano was a little crazy and it was expensive. And I didn't really want to go with that because it was a, a writing setup. And I, I like my rig in a lefty setup. It's basically I'm pulling with my right shirt. So I got this one. I use a Geeks and Top Dollar Reel. I got a lot of Shimano back here. Uh, this is Shimano Trance. I got a little Shimano. This is a uh, two speed right here. It's a Talica. But, um, you know, another Shimano right here. This time I went with the Avid though, just the, the way I like my hair. So. And this real is a Helix 30 T. No man design. So. Would you get in your wave right? Yep. Wave check. Wing fall check. <laughs> oh, he was? I already seen the other side of me. I don't want to have my girl, she could die for me now. Turn to a savage because I'm proud of me now. I got twin right behind me, they just want to see me fall. And I only got myself, I just want to see me fall. I see how you look at me when I don't pay you no mind. I ain't fucking with you no more, little girl. What I'm doing is not no sign. I don't need nobody, never did. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't never need no close sign. Nah, Man, it's getting ready to go down. We live. It's a so-so day outside, but that's okay. We're going to work through it. But, man, look, we're going to get out here. We're going bottom fishing. We're getting active. We're not playing around. Woo. How's it going? Where are you from? I saw some tarpon rolling on the, uh, the bait. Well, you better catch some, too. You got to catch some. You got to catch some. At least catch Twelve fish. Twelve. That, that's a lot. That's all Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Yeah, it is. It's pretty spicy. Here we go. Getting ready to get the day started. Getting ready to get on the water and get some good fishing in. I think we're going shark fishing right now, so we'll let you know how that go. Yeah, man, I'm excited to get, the, get going. Go chase the shrimp boats. Chase the shrimp boats, that's what we're doing. Um, I believe we're probably headed, let's say, uh, 40 miles offshore. Nothing but the ocean, man. It's so peaceful and beautiful, man. It's a way to just decompress, man, and just bring it all back together. No matter what you have going on in life, man, all the issues and problems. This is how, like, I like to decompress and, like, let go. It's nothing but me and the water. Man, I hope I catch a shark, man. I, man, I hope I catch a shark. See, we got a shrimp boat right behind. See how big that boat is, man. See, sharks love to trail behind shrimp boats. So, hey, hopefully we, we catch a shark. Man, I know they got some good shrimp, man. I wonder if they sell me some shrimp fresh out the boat. Hey, there go everybody. Hey, friends.
all this sink. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. We all in sync, man. That's, look how cool. We just it is. got here. We just got to our place where I'm, How far are we off of shore? We're only uh, one mile. We only one mile offshore. Shrimpers like to stay as close to the beach as they can, and there's a one mile limit. You can't get closer than one mile. Man, so. It should be about 28 foot deep. Oh, yeah. 28, what, 28 feet deep? Yeah. Oh, 47 here, wow. 47, oh, wow. We're much more than a mile. Yeah, man, we get ready to get started, see if we can catch some shark. I want to buy some shrimp fresh off this boat. I would love that, man. That's a big shrimp. Yeah. There you go. I see him right there. Got him. How big? How big you think he is? That one's about thirty inches. He's gonna hold you about four foot, man. All right, we'll give him four foot. Teeth? I do see his teeth. You videoing? Yeah. Okay. You can let him go. Hold that man right on top. Catch him up. He's right behind his net. Pulling in the net. Nice one. Some people eat these. Nobody eats the hardhead catfish, which is our main catfish. So we just finished up fishing. Now we're getting ready to go eat. We are here at um I don't even know the name of the restaurant, but we are here. Getting ready to go get some good grub. Video. Man, let me quick update on what happened. So we go out there, you know, everything was going well. Then man, the waves were so crazy. I got a little sick and mind you, I've been fishing for a while. So that, this was new. So I felt like complete shit. And I'm actually thanking Jesus Christ that I'm on land now. I feel way better. Uh, I have no idea. Um, okay, I'll just keep this up right now just in case. Yeah. So yeah, I'm actually glad I'm back on land. I get to get some good grub, get to eat, bring me back to life. And yeah, man, so I keep you guys posted. Hopefully the food here is good. Hopefully St. Augustine treats me well. So hey, I'll be back with an update. Camera. finished the day tired man hope y'all enjoyed the content today i'm gonna try to you know upload once a week and yeah for those who are watching this video don't forget to like follow and subscribe to the channel for all your updated content and appreciate y'all coming through